Hello Virgo and welcome to your Mercury Retrograde Tarot Reading. This reading will cover the time frame of September 27th through October 18th as Mercury retrogrades through the sign of Libra and Libra is 7th house which is all about relationships, family, friendship, romance as well as your karmic energies. So um, there is going to be a balance happening for you guys. And you've been learning a lot of lessons through relationships in 2021. All right, Virgo. So let's take a look and see what this Mercury retrograde is doing for you guys. All right. Well, oh, whoa. Okay. Okay. So I guess Spirit is going to want to do your guys' reading a little different. Uh, the main theme here, Virgo is you've learned a lot of lessons. You've balanced a lot of karmic energy this year. And so it's time for you to come out of that anxiety, out of worrying. Okay, so let's pull a couple more cards. Oh yeah, you've been in a period of stillness, a holding pattern, and now we have the Hierophant. Wow. Okay, Virgo, yes, you've been working on a lot of soul lessons this year, playing out in different relationships, okay? And with the hanged one coming through, it just, a lot of your relationships in your life just don't feel like they've been working in 2021, okay? Or there's one main one that has just been heavy on your heart, on your mind. And through every challenge, the circumstances, the pain, the sadness, just whatever has been happening for you, Virgo, you've been learning a lot of soul lessons, okay? And you're about to come into all of that, like your experiences are about to transform into wisdom and your consciousness will expand through this Mercury retrograde in Libra, okay? And Spirit's really been working on you hardcore to wake you up to get you to realize some things about yourself about life about the people who are around you because you've been stuck in some heavy energy which typically means um that you've felt very lonely you don't feel like you have um, friends or people who are there for you you don't feel like anybody has your own back okay you're just kind of constantly in this place of angst and being uptight feeling alone feeling like you're on your own, even if there are people around, okay? But all this energy is about to shift, Virgo, so let's pull some more cards. Do what you love. Raise your vibration. Have faith. Okay. Virgo, you, um, much like a lot of the other signs, I don't know why this is such a big theme for this retrograde, but man, Virgo, you haven't been paying attention to your own wants, your own needs, your own heart, your own dreams. You haven't been. Okay. You've been far too accommodating to other people or worried about relationships, worried about having friends, worried about having um, romantic love in your life. And Spirit's been trying to get you to focus inside of you, for you to have an awakening, to see the value of you, Virgo, to see who you are and what you bring to the table in any relationship. And it's time for you to be in connections where you are enjoying life and you are enjoying spending time with these people. You're doing things you love. You're not just maintaining or doing work. Relationships just feeling like a lot of work and like you can't count on them anyway. So what's the point? And your thoughts and your emotions around yourself, your worth, it has gotten very, very low. And spirit has been trying to raise your vibration through synchronicity, is through magic, you know, just subtle magic of the universe to let you know, hey Virgo, I see you. You are somebody. You are special. You are worthy. You are lovable. 
you need to know this. Spirit's been trying to teach you this this year big time, okay? And here, have faith. You are not alone. You are never, ever alone and on your own. Even if it feels that way, you've got angels, Virgo, and they're coming in strong to really build you up and tell you you deserve so much more than what is before you. What you've been accepting, what you've been tolerating, you deserve so much more than that. Need a necessity. Embrace spirit. Look at raise your vibration and embrace spirit. Spirit's got you. Share your thoughts. Okay. You've been holding on to people. Bad relationships because you don't want to be alone and and you know. Um, you're like, well, it's better to have somebody to talk to than nobody whatsoever. And Spirit's been trying to wake you up, Virgo, and say to you, listen, it's better to be alone and on your own than to deal with people who don't have your best interest at heart, don't care about your feelings, um, your level of comfort, what you're going through, can't be bothered to be there for you, okay? You don't need any of that riffraff. You really don't. It takes from you. It adds nothing to your life. It steals from you and prevents you from happiness, from love. Okay, and here, raise your vibration. Embrace spirit. The angels want you to call upon them. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. Okay, call upon them to help bring you into the truth of self and the truth of others and heal your heart and heal your wounds. And, you know... All those times where you have cried yourself to sleep, like nobody loves me, nobody cares about me, your angels have been right there. Always, always, they want you to know that, okay? And have faith, share your thoughts. This is what Spirit's trying to bring into your life, Virgo, is a relationship where you can be 100% open, honest, real, authentic, and raw, and don't feel like you have to hide, pretend, to be somebody else, like somebody you can actually trust. Spirit is building you into that, okay? Whether it's a friend, a romance, or both that you desire. Spirit is building you into that. And all the turmoil that you've been going through has been trying to teach you, okay, that what you're reaching for, the type of person, what you accept is the wrong thing, and it keeps you down here when you... Um, deserve to be up here and have connections that correspond with that higher vibration of energy Virgo so let's pull some more cards it's not to say that everybody around you is a total crapshoot but there's definitely some people that have hurt you, have scarred you, have made you insecure, have made you question yourself and your worth. It's time for a new cycle for Virgo to move into. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, so you got that twice. And Seven of Cups. Okay, Virgo, as you let go of these toxic ties and, you know, the residual wounds that exist in your heart from things of the past, as you focus on the healing of that and the release of these negative ties in your life, things are going to improve for you financially as well as it's time to start realizing your dreams, Virgo. What makes you happy? What do you want out of this life? 
what do you want to happen for yourself this life you can have it it is there for you and right now spirit's trying to awaken you to your potential to your divinity to what you deserve and give you the strength and power to release all that is not worthy of you all that does not serve you all that holds you back and holds you down okay it's time for you to start a new cycle where you do feel abundance you feel wealthy you feel happy you feel stable you feel secure okay and you know that might start with you all on your own but Virgo one will become two and two will become eight all right you are not going to be alone and on your own forever in the physical there are soulmates that are meant to align to you um i feel like you've been dealing with a lot of karmics all right and you've balanced a lot of karmic energy and now it's time for some happiness for virgo some true connections for virgo and spirit's going to intervene um, Spirit has a plan for you, Virgo, for this life. And look at uh, Wheel of Fortune. Yes, Spirit will intervene. There are certain people that are meant to cross your path that are going to love you and be there to for you and lead you towards your highest potentials. And those who, who just won't, who don't have any interest in doing that, who keep you in this Nine of Swords, constantly confused, constantly worried, constantly filled with anxiety, it's time for them to fall away because they really hold you back. We've got the lovers. Yes, see, Virgo, Ace of Pentacles. This retrograde is bringing a connection. And we've got the tower, the Hierophant again, and the Nine of Wands. Listen, there is a relationship that comes with this retrograde, all right? And this could be a returning person or this could be a brand new person. Either way, it kind of shocks you. You don't expect it. And it's spirit, okay? Spirit has brought this back to you or has brought this new connection into your world. Because remember, we were talking about that divine intervention. So this person that's coming to you during this retrograde, Virgo, this is a soulmate to you. And this is somebody who is going to be determined to help you achieve your highest dreams, your highest good, your highest potential, is going to have your back and is connected to you in the soul, okay? And spirit has brought this together so you can trust this relationship. And this could be a friend, this could be a romance, it could be somebody of the past or somebody brand new. No matter what, you don't expect all of this, so you might be like a little hesitant, a little unsure, but spirit's like, you can trust this. I'm bringing this to you. This is somebody who will love you, who will be there for you, who will support you and see you through the hard times and the dark times and won't abandon you, Virgo. All right. So this retrograde is really all about this awakening for you to see who does not belong in your life and you to make the choice to walk away from them and allow this beautiful new connection to come in. And this person's going to help you raise your vibration. It's going to help you get closer to your own spirit, your own soul. All right. This is a really good relationship that's coming in for Virgo. It's like heaven sent and you need it. I mean, I see what you've been going through. You need it. And this person, it's like, because of how great it is, it's like, okay, you know, whatever happened to me in the past, it doesn't matter anymore because you found me and you are amazing. You are my soulmate. All right. So that's beautiful, Virgo. It is time for a solid, true relationship to come into your world. Again, whether it's romance or a friend. self-love you realize that love of self is necessary to love another yes and it's time to love yourself Virgo because when you love yourself when you truly love respect and value yourself you won't put up with anybody's crap you won't because you'll be like 
look, I don't treat you like that, so I am not going to accept that from you. It's just not going to happen. I don't care who you are. Look at that. There's that anxiety. We surround you with the healing light of amethyst. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. And spirit is bringing beautiful love into your world through this retrograde Virgo. All right, so those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.